Question 26. Organic acids, including vitamin C, are present in lemon juice. Since organic acids and vitamin C are weak acids, they will undergo acid-base reactions. So they are weak acids. That's something you need to know. Only vitamin C, not organic acids, will undergo a redox titration with iodine. Which of the following methods would be best, most appropriate to determine the concentration of organic acids and the vitamin C in a sample of lemon juice? Okay, so if we want to look at for the organic acids and the vitamin C, we need to make sure that they can actually both undergo the reaction. So organic acids can't undergo the redox reaction, but um, weak acids can. So therefore the redox reaction, I think, is out, but they can undergo an acid-base titration. So acid-base titration with sodium hydroxide and phenylphthalein indicator, that looks good because sodium hydroxide is a strong base, which means the pH change of the endpoint will be around about 8 to 10, slightly above 7. Acid base ammonia, no, ammonia is a weak base, so therefore you can't titrate a weak acid and a weak base, so that's out, and it says the, the redox titration here. Acid base titration with sodium hydroxide and methyl orange. Methyl orange is not good because its pH range is around about 4 to um, four to 6, I think it is, um, but it's underneath 7. So a methyl orange would be used for a strong acid and a weak base, whereas phenylphthalein is used for a strong base and a weak acid. Then an acid-based titration with potassium hydroxide, when phenylphthalein indicator, and a redox titration with iodine um, and starch. So, um, as I said, we want to look for the organic acids. Um, so I'm going to say that we would like to then use probably A, because that would do both of those things. Coming back from the examiner's report, however, they are saying that the answer is D, and I can see why. What we want to look at is for both, we need to find out these both separately. What A is going to do is only find out these all together. With D, what you're going to do is your um, titration, which is a good titration between a strong base and using the right indicator, that's going to find total acids. And then part this part here is going to find your vitamin C vitamin C. So therefore, what that's going to allow you to do is find the vitamin C concentration, but also the total acids, or if you wanted to, you'd take away the vitamin C from the total acids to work out how many of the other organic acids are there as well. So the answer there is actually D. Just realized that it wasn't recording for these last two questions. Question 27. This is a equilibrium reaction, and we have a Kc value, an equilibrium constant. What we need to do is find the equilibrium constant for a modified version of this reaction at the same temperature. So what I had to look at is what happened to this equation, and I realized that it was reversed, so the IBR is now as a reactant, not a product, and that it was also doubled, so therefore I've got four IBR, not just two IBR. So in terms of modifying our Kc value for that, when I reverse my reaction, I get the reciprocal, so I get one divided by K, and when I double my equilibrium constant, I square my equilibrium constant, so therefore it's 1 over k squared because it's been reversed and doubled. And once I plug that into my calculator, I ended up with the value of c. So I did 1 divided by this squared, so it's basically looking at this, that squared, 1 divided by that squared. Um, for my answer is c. For question 28, I had to look at what a dipeptide from alpha amino acids was, and the fact that um, uh, alpha amino acid meant that my R group was off the this middle carbon here, or the fact that my amino group was off my second carbon from the end here. So I was like a, what was it, carboxyl, carbon, then amino group. So I had to look for the um, things in here, so from my dipeptides, that had carboxyl, carbon, and then amino group. And looking through here, I found out that, um, well, this one here was a alpha amino acid because I had carboxyl, carbon, then amino. This one wasn't. I had carboxyl, carbon, carbon, amino. So therefore, that would be um, perhaps a beta, maybe, um, amino acid, if that actually exists. I don't know. This one here, again, had carboxyl, carbon, carbon, amino. This one here had amino carbon carboxyl, amino carbon carboxyl. So that was looking pretty good. Both of those are alpha amino acids. This one over here is alpha amino acid this side, 
with amino carbon carboxyl. And then here, however, there's two carbons in between my amino group or my amide linkage and my carboxyl here. So therefore the answer is C.